Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Camo Conversations podcast. I'm your host, Camo Ho, but wait, I'm not alone. I got guests, guys. I got guests. <laughs> I'm here, a guest. Here Woo! we have Gavin. Yeah. <laughs> and the <laughs> golf. That's... Previously seen on Camo's channel, Liam Rashford. That never Rashford. happened. <laughs> but anyways uh so uh i was just chilling i was on my way home from work i get a message from this dude i honestly thought it was just i you know i got a message from this kid named liam and i was like wow i despise this kid as a person but i should reply just to be a, a dc human being so i re- so i was like hi and he said hey want hang and i was like uh, uh and i stuttered a bit because as I said before, I dislike you as a person. <laughs> but what I was like, yeah, sure, I'll hang. And it was a whole thing. And then all of a sudden, here we are, recording a podcast. So uh, yeah. how is everyone today? I- I'm- well, I was good until I found out that information. Do you despise me as a person? No, I just hate him with Can a burning into passion. No. Of why? But, yeah, why, do, why do you hate him? <laughs> I want to dig into this. List all the well, reasons why you hate God, him. my God, you are just so beautiful. So no, so it's more, not at all. <laughs> so it's more like a jealousy thing? Or? Uh, a little bit. I'm not going to... Hmm. Well, well. Um. so uh, it is summer, and uh, that's a thing that it happens. So what have you guys... <laughs> Why am I laughing? Why am I laughing? What, so what have you guys been doing this summer that has been uh, good no. enough for content? Um... I got well, I, I've been checking out Liam's uh, Graham. I see you uh, travel. Oh, yes, a lot. You did travel. I just got back from a trip from Ireland. Ah, uh, I'm an Irish boy. Ah, an Irish. I, can. And, uh, I was over there for my birthday. Ah, oh. yeah. So you're a rich kid. <laughs> it was a birthday present <laughs> from my dad. He was gone now. <laughs> Is that still Rest funny to you, Calvin? <laughs> <laughs> But honestly, uh, I think that's really cool that you actually get to travel while I get to stay in uh, the United States of America, located in my small abode, which can be classified as a uh, as a small shack in the woods where you could most likely get murdered at. So uh, seems like you've been having a lot of fun. And uh, what about you, Gavin? I see you uh, do things. Um, well, first off, I had my first kid. Say um, hi. Say hi. Huh? Is that a threat? <laughs> I did. What's she trying to do to me? Hi. Hi. Um, we have four guests. Not today. only, not only did we I have, have child. Not only did I have my first child, but I also uh, started my own company. We we sell things like cocaine and heroin to those Same. who. Same. Oh, really? I'm also. In uh, except business. I don't sell it. I purchase it. Oh, okay. We use it on small children. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, she um, could she could use some honestly. You could uh you could supply her with some. You could be the middleman, you know, make some good cash. Sorry, it's all mine. It's yours? Uh, uh um, um when I said little children, uh I meant um uh Obama. Oh. Um uh. <laughs> Rest in peace, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Obama is gone. What are your thoughts? He's gone. He's been gone for four years. He's, I really still gone. think it's Osama's fault. I it really to, is. I mean, the facts are You know, guys, no, there's one thing I've always wondered, and what is Obama's last name? It's got to be Richard. Obama-rama? No, like, <laughs> honestly, dude, like, it's something that has bugged me since Obama the beginning pajama? of time. That's... <laughs> Obama. I'd assume it'd be something that I'd President Obama Pajama. I'd assume it'd be something that rhymed because if you didn't have a last name that rhymed with Obama, you just deserve to be deported. And so that, all of us? No, Calvin Henderson. It rhymes. Obama. <laughs> Obama. Um. Kachama. Obama Katama. Obama's Katana. Katana, yeah. Bin Laden. That doesn't rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> Deport him. I like it how this podcast has gone from topic to Obama. Of course. He was a kid. And the mystery Natu- of his last name. Naturally, <laughs> yeah. 
That's oh, that where you would go, go right? That's I mean, that's I talk about. Obama. Like, is Obama even real, though? I don't think so. He, he doesn't even here? have a gaming channel. He can't be real then. I have a gaming channel, oh. and I'm not Obama. And you're real. I can. And touch I'm you. real. I'm touching you right now. You're not touching me. Just because this is an audio podcast doesn't mean you can't tell the truth. Oh, well, I wish I was touching you. You can do it. Babe. <laughs> 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 no. Oh um, yes. Well, oh yes. <laughs> this this is wonderful because we can ask questions. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. He is closing the door. He is closing so, it. Gavin, I have a question. Um, what? Your your ex wife told me how you forgot to pay uh, child support. Last, yeah, I, last I, ha- time. I have an ex wife. Well, okay. Here's we'll, the thing, we'll right? Here's, here's right. The thing. <laughs> I do want to hear about, about Tammy. About the child support, oh, of course. Right? <laughs> I did pay it, but then... But you didn't Was it through it. Venmo, though? No, 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 no. I, I wrote out a check, but I lost it. Okay. Um, Same. When I was delivering substances. Oh. To Uber Eats? Mom, actually. Uber to Eats? my mom? Yeah, it's Uber like Uber Eats, Eats but with it's crack. It's like Uber Eats, but it's called... Crack? Yep. Yeah. Crack Eats. Crack? crack no, 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 not Crack Eats. No, 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 not Crack Eats. crack No, no, no. No, just... Just... Hey, hey, just Crack. Just crack. We, it's just crack. We don't want to make it too complicated of a name, so crack. it's just crack. Okay. With a capital C. And a capital K. Get your crack. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone laugh now. But I guess uh, we can ask questions. So yeah. uh, at the moment, I, am, I have a job. Yeah, I, okay. I get money. Unlike most people in this room, you guys do not have funds. I work construction. <laughs> so, Gavin, uh, uh-huh. you have job experience, yes? Yeah. All right, let's hear, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Don't stop there. Go. Come on, <laughs> say something. Come on, man, spit it out. If you're going to uh. cry, I'm kicking you off. <laughs> well, it's really emotional, guys. Uh, so... So you are a minimum wage job. You are a peasant in, yeah, in the economy. I am a peasant. You are but a small person who works for seven fifty an hour. I actually work for eight, thank you very much. But I work for fifteen. Well <laughs> Well me and Gavin just got hired by a party business yep. in Logan that does pay fifteen an hour. And is so... that party city? Party City. <laughs> I work for Party City. city. <laughs> we work for a party business. They only specialize in the best. Oh yeah, could, could I like get the address of that place? Oh oh yeah, sure man. Here, come here anytime. I pull up and it's just Party City. Party and I walk city. in and you guys are just cashiers. We just have like little name tags. Hi, I'm Gavin. How Hi, can I welcome help you today? to Party City. We party all day. Also, fifty percent off any mask balloon uh, with the purchase of a set of plates. <laughs> but yeah, no, we host a big party thing. Yeah. No, we do work at Party City. You kind of figured us but out. But actually, for real, what the hell is your job? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we were at a party, and the DJ sees us at these parties a lot, and he came up and approached us, and he's like, hey, do you guys want jobs? Like, you guys Oh, wait, this is me? legit. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I thought you guys were just no, messing No, no, no like, this, this is, is a real, real thing. Oh, really? Like, yeah, like, wow. he came up and they like, offered us jobs, and, like, we're going to, like, go and help set up for stuff, like, jobs and parties in Utah. Oh, and actually. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually cool. Yeah. So well, like all the that's a bit all the parties that the hoes post on their stories. <laughs> I do construction. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dude. The, uh, parties are cool. Uh, I go to lots of parties. Yeah, I went to a party, birthday party. Oh, we were. Th- was it the one we were at? The one where I mentally broke down. Yeah, no, dude, that, was... that was your cousin's birthday party. Emmett. Yeah, Emmett is your. Uh, child? He's not my cousin. Emmett's my child. Wait, yeah. if Emmett's. Your child and... I conceived him cousin. myself. That means you're Uncle Calvin. Uncle Calvin? I'm not related to you. You don't know. my be. son. <laughs> <laughs> I work construction. <laughs> I, I work construction. I paint. I paint walls. I paint things. And I deal with middle-aged people that mm. have um, lost their will to uh, do anything better. Okay. So, that is the, that is, <laughs> that is the yeah. epitome of construction. One of the worst job experiences I've had so far. But it does get me ready for the real world. Uh, and by ready, I mean I'm ready for disappointment. 
Okay. Yeah, where I'll be living on the streets. So speaking of disappointment, let's what do you talk about San life? Francisco. Okay. Oh, I yes. hate San Francisco. Why do you hate San Francisco? You can Francisco? make six figures and be living a, and be considered homeless. That's true. It that's, is one of the most bad. expensive places to live. So, yeah. like, I could be calling my mom, like, hey, I'm making six figures. But then again, I am living on a cardboard box next to the Golden Gate Bridge. I think it's worth it. You know? The view, though. Yeah. The view of the Golden Gate Bridge while also people. eating bird feces from a plastic cup you found, which killed a sea turtle. Wow. Let's talk about turtles. Let's talk about turtles. Yeah. God, I love Okay, are turtles. you a metal straw person? A metal straw. Do you, would you I'm trying to get into oh. it. Honestly, He's got a straw right here. Ah, no, please. You fraud. You're Wendy's, dude. Now, if you guys now, could now, see listen. this right now, you could see this straw. Now, 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 listen. I'm trying to invest in the metal straw industry as much as I love turtles. Mm-hmm. I just can't get enough of that sweet, sweet strawberry Dr. Pepper so I can get diabetes. <laughs> Agreed. But no. The burp uh, after that couldn't invest in metal <laughs> straws is good. What were we on before? Jobs? Turtles. San Francisco. <laughs> and San Francisco. Uh, have you had any sort of minimum wage job? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I worked well, uh, for, at a pizza shop. P- P- I worked pizza at the stop? I worked pizza at the stop. You both worked at pizza stop. Yeah, and I How was that it. experience? Um, ah. It was fine. <laughs> like was, any minimum wage. It was so bad. It, food yeah, it, was, it was fine, just it got old, and some of my employees, not employees, because I, some of my coworkers were... Uh, not the best. Oh, I will not. Get, I will not name names. Let's in case name watching. names. Let's let's ruin someone's reputation <laughs> and make sure they live a life of suffering and agony. All right. You guys want to? Okay, come close, guys. <clears throat> Penis. <laughs> Our construction. <laughs> Our construction. Um, I paint walls for a construction company. And uh, the name of the person is, drumroll please, drumroll, Obama. It is Obama. You it guessed it. Obama. Yes. 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 You guessed it. It yes. was Obama. I it have an Obama. itch on my leg because I got bit by a bug. Let's talk about things you hate. I um, hate a lot bugs. of things. I hate bugs. bugs. I bugs. hate. I hate bugs. We're at a topic. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we weren't going to have a topic, but we no, no, no. We're, 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 this is what I see a podcast as. Either something just happened to you and you talk about it, or you just get a bunch of people and just talk about stupid stuff. Oh, yeah. For yeah. example, I just talked about this on my last video, but I hit a family of Mexicans. You didn't mention. You didn't mention. I did not mention that. No, 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 no. I hit (laughs) hit a little Fiat. Hit a little Cooper Fiat. I hit the car, uh, and the first thing I did when I pull over, I'm like, "Great, I'm gonna get out of the car, and I'm gonna get yelled at by the man that has the build of Dwayne the Rock Johnson." I get out of the car. It's this nice Mexican man. He's just like, "What were you doing?" I was just like, "It was an accident." And he's like, "Okay, uh, 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 let's see your damage." I checked mine. He checked his. Uh, We shook hands. A little bit of kissing, uh, but you know, <laughs> but but he had a family, so we did it behind the car, so they couldn't mm. see. So Definitely. yeah, no, it and was it was not all too fine. not too long, I presume, right? Oh no no no, like yeah. uh, like ten minutes. So was oh it? yeah, that's not that's not long at all. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we exchanged insurance card, and uh, he just left let me off, mm. and uh, I like that. I'm left with a hundred and fifty dollar fine. So yeah, that's cool. You know but what? You can pay because you work. You work construction. I work construction. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, um, fun of me again. on the topic of not construction, uh, we have hobbies. People we do. do hobbies we do. to enjoy themselves. Uh, if you didn't know what the definition of a hobby was, I just gave it to you because you are uneducated and disgusting. And preferably, I'd uh, like it if you just clicked off. Because I hate you as a person. Strong words from a strong Please, man. Please, I need content. Don't don't click off. That was a joke. <clears throat> yeah, I've I've killed my wife twice. So she's like, did you remarry or was it the same wife? And oh, it's the same one. Stabbed her once. She uh was dead. Then all of a sudden she got up and went to the hospital and became better again. And then all of a sudden she man. wanted to remarry. So I'm just like, all right. And then I killed her a second time and. I made sure she was dead. I put her in a 55-gallon drum, and I sent her off to the Gulf of Mexico. 
She's long gone now. Nobody will find her, especially after listening to this. She is long gone at the bottom of the sea um, near a small town on the Gulf of Mexico called Small Mexico. <laughs> old Mexico. Small Small, small Mexico old, on Gulf of tiny um, Mexico. on Gulf of Me- Me- Tortilla. <laughs> Those are from Both Mexico. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. She is, she is in a, she has been rotting for thirty years. I am right. seventeen. All right. Right. If anyone can find Calvin's ex-wife in small town Mexico, we will you guys want to know what her name is? I'll just say her name so you can find her quickly. And anybody just who's call been her trying to ocean. search for her, uh, her name, you know what? I can't remember the old ball and chain. <laughs> <laughs> the ball of chain. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> oh, Maybe her name is Ball and Chain. Her name wasn't Ball and Chain. It was something stupid like some stupid like sorters. Sorters. I just looked at that thing of alphabet soup sorters. Oh. It was probably something stupid like Catherine. And I get Yeah, Catherine. What a dumb name. What a stupid name. What beef is there behind this? <laughs> Is this not to be discussed? Uh, this shall be discussed. Oh, really? Catherine... Are we, are we talking about this? Catherine I don't is, know anything about it, but I am interested. Oh, I'm not going to... seeing this, shouts out Catherine. Yes. Catherine boy's heart. is... <laughs> but that was definitely not her name. The ex-wife I threw in the 55-gallon drum at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico near a small Mexico tortilla. Mexico tortilla. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. All right, well, go back to the Catherine. Catherine is my ex-girlfriend, and that's all you need to know. All right, well, uh, shout-out to Catherine. Yo, shouts out Catherine. Sure hope you didn't do anything to my son here. I will, I will come for you with a knife. And a 50-pound drum. She did. She's dead. No, she did something to your son. Oh, she's... Hey! Really? Not funny. <laughs> you better watch yourself if you're listening <coughs> to this, Catherine. I don't hey know. Yo. You know. He, he will. I, I will. He'll come at you with a 50 pound drum. <laughs> He'll send you to the go- 50, Gulf no, of Tortilla. No, 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 50 gallon 50, drum. 50, 50, send oh, 50 you off pound to, drum. I'll send you say? off right where I sent Margaret. That That's was her, her name. name. Hey, Margaret, I remember the it. Solved. Yep. Yeah, frick yep. you, Margaret, Margaret, if you're Margaret. listening to this. <laughs> at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico Margaret in a 55-gallon drum. You had an iPhone 3. Couldn't even update it. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, oh yeah? You Margaret, you want to go? You <laughs> come out of a 55-gallon drum. Are you trying to drum. throw some hands, Margaret? You're iPhone 3? You're iPhone at the three, bottom of the ocean. Try and come here's out this question. time, Margaret. All right. Who was the worst lover? Margaret? Catherine? Okay. You know, Margaret, I just hated her. She didn't necessarily do anything bad to me. In fact, she was extremely, uh, you know, r- responsible of everything she did. She was a very nice woman. So why there was just something her about her uh, face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You know, you know, she had this mole on her uh, <laughs> left side of her face. Mole. Mole. <laughs> mole. <laughs> uh, you know, she had a left mole on the side of her face. Uh, yeah. Disgusting. I'm all on the side of her face. And Disgusting. It, it, I just grabbed the kitchen knife and I was like, let me just slice that off. You're Disgusting. really aggravating me. She's like, like Nanny McPhee. Stop it, honey. Nanny. Like, I'm going to do it. And so I tried doing it. It's either the mole or me. <laughs> I choose mole. It's either fish. All right, get in the truck. We're going to Mexico. <laughs> she said it's either fishing or me. Sometimes I miss her. <sighs> fishing. Yeah. Fishing. Fish for hoes. I time. have. I legit. Fishing for hoes. Nah, I, just fishing. Just fishing. I like fishing. I don't go like down on the hose. river and what the? catch yourself a fish. <laughs> I like me a good. I like to hit up the county lake. I like to get up there with my, with my uh, Castmaster nine thousand. And uh, what I like to do, I like cast it out there with a nice can of Coors Light. I like to let it bob around there, reel her in, see a nice old bluegill on the end of that line, and toss them back. And that's the cycle of life. It doesn't get no better than that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I tried to hold it in the whole time. I, I just got it. That's the cycle of life. <laughs> to be honest, since I haven't been fishing in a long it's honestly therapeutic. <laughs> I've had many experiences with women. I, 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 Let's talk about that, actually. Let's talk about women, yeah. Woman? Yeah, women. No, I want to talk I about... I may have made a video. Specifically... Gone. 
well, not specifically her. Margaret. Upcoming love for Kalmon. Up, up, yeah, upcoming. Upcoming yeah, love. Uh, as ideal... I told you, uh, my relationship with On ended since I wore a V-neck. You know, you saw her on Twitter for a bit. Like, you know, I, I thought she was the one. And then all of a sudden I wore a V-neck. She said, get the hell out of my face. And then I stabbed her. threw her in a 55-gallon drum and threw her to the Gulf of Texas. Small Texas? Small Texas. Been there. Right off the coast. She's going to be caught in that hurricane. She's going to be launched into somebody's house. They're going to go in their house. What's this 55-gallon drum? They're going to open it. There she uh, is. Anyways, just uh, call me if you find the body. Uh, all right. <laughs> Why so do what do you mean upcoming love? Let's, so I mean like like this. your uh like your thoughts on a future spouse. Future spouse. No, I know like you're not the ideal? About spouse. Yeah, like like ideal, like the what, ideal. what like personality yeah. wise and then personality books, the wise? Books. Yeah. Well, if I if I get a hoe and they're easily offended with any of my jokes, I'm I'm dipping them. And that's like legit serious. If I tell a joke and they just go, that's that's Pretty sensitive. I'm just you like, can't say okay, that. It's you can racist. Leave. It's racist. Like I can't just go out and say the N word. Like come on. <laughs> like, I can't just do that. <laughs> like, come on. Come on. It's 2019. My friend Demarcus gave me the pass. Yeah. All right? Honestly, Idiot. dude. Like shout out to Dominic, man. Gave me the pass right before summer got out, and I've just been a free man. I, how uh, are you liking the N word pass? I mean. I've and I've, once, but I've I have been it. beat up a few times, and then I just flip it out and. They're just... All right. Uh, all right, I'm gone. I'm sorry. I've been revoked of mine. I've been revoked of mine. You could twice. get a pass soon. You could get a pass. I could get a pass. pass. I have seen... You could get a pass. Uh, they sell them on eBay for like 30 bucks a pop. He could uh, get a legitimate pass, though. He... Wait, we haven't finished your options. thing, though. Yeah. What was that? Oh, my ideal you, spouse? You yeah. Off. Yeah. Uh, if you get offended really easily, no... No offense. <laughs> but honestly... <laughs> Silly joke. Just, just take a joke. Somebody with a good sense of humor. Uh, if you have a mole on the left side of your face, uh, you're going to be thrown in a 55-gallon drum, as I've said many times before. No moles. And, you know... Uh, mole. You know, if you're not going to accept a man over six feet, I'm not going to accept a woman under six feet. Wow. But you will over six feet. What? Dude, you said you're not so, so you, you only go for tall girls? So now, I don't understand the height thing with women. They only want a guy over six feet. What, because he, he can't reach the cookie jar? What, he can't climb over the baby gate? What? Yeah, got you, you got a problem with that? Thank you. I, Thank you. Except you're tall, so you don't have to, you don't have to worry yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, no, I'm like six. I haven't even hit six foot. I'm like though. six foot, like, you know. I, but, you know, I get woman. <laughs> like, all that time, the birthday party was awesome. That was, it was. That was but at the so same fun. time, dude, that I was thought hilarious. I was losing it because I just got on my Bluetooth speaker and then at one point I was doing Fortnite dances while turning on some weeb. <laughs> like I turned out like <laughs> the instrumental stuff and I was doing this while listening to some Japanese chick sing. Dude, you were the life of that party. Once you left, it died instantly. Yeah, we... that's because the parents came home and I was like. I don't want to look like a druggie. I'm about to head out. So I, that was pretty much it. And I just went home and I was like, I screwed up. <laughs> no, that was no, honestly... No, dude, you did not. That was awesome. Yeah, I know, and I tell everybody, I'm just like, I probably ruined your night. I probably annoyed everybody. They're like, what are you talking about? You, you didn't annoy us. And then, and then I'm like, okay, good to know. And I just sit there. I'm like, what if they're lying to me? <laughs> they're not lying because it was sick. Well, that's, Fun party. Yeah, that was a good time. Yeah, you guys don't even know about it. Like... Two other people listening to this will know. So, yeah. That's not even that. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot worse than that, though. Yeah, that not, wasn't that. I get, yeah, it, it wasn't as bad as I thought. But just in my view, I was just like, damn, I, I really did that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you have those moments where you look back, you're like, what was I thinking? Well, I guess we all have our cringe moments. Oh, yeah. Do you guys have any um, childhood stories that oh, man. are just insane? Or stories. incredibly bad. Because hmm. I have a couple. that I, I mean, I have one that I can think of right now, but I know I have more. Childhood stories. Oh, that were flashbacks. either, like, very strange or, like... Oh, I've got cringe. one. All right, let's hear it. I've got one. All right. Um, I don't remember how old I was. I I think I was pretty young, though, yeah. just judging by what this act was. And uh, I, was, I lived in Washington at the time, and there was just, like, loose change everywhere. 
like yeah. around the house and i was probably i'm i would say i was like six but i was still like putting stuff in my mouth stage oh i never really died like i never really got out of that no homo but like i hope still not in that no. <laughs> but like, yeah so anyway there's like this penny like in like in the couch crevice i was like watching some spongebob or something i just found it and I don't know why. I don't know how it got there. Like, I, but I swallowed it, ah. the penny. So it just like it, it went to my mouth. And I swallowed it, and I didn't tell my mom or anything because I knew I'd get in trouble for it. And eventually, like I started throwing up and stuff. Like oh. I was like pretty sick, oh. and she was just like, "Hey, like, are you okay? Like you've been throwing up a lot." And I was like, "Mom, I uh, I swallowed a bleakin." <laughs> you told her exactly and, that. Yeah, well, I don't know. She's, and she's just like, we <laughs> need to take you to the doctor. Like, that's not going to come out your your poop tube proper. You can't swallow Abe Lincoln and survive. Yeah, so we went to the hospital I and they did some to... surgery. and Yeah. You actually got surgery. Not surgery, but like they... they <laughs> or like, like they gave you like it, laxatives. Like ultrasound kind of thing. Really? Yeah, like laxatives and stuff. Like fiber and I don't know. I did the same thing, except it was Christmas morning, and there was a quarter on the fireplace. So I was like, hmm, what if I put this quarter in my mouth? And then I ended up putting it in my mouth that I swallowed it, and I did not tell anybody, and it ended up not being a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we know that quarter could I didn't, still be I, I did not throw up, but, like, I just swallowed it, and I was just like, oh, no. I think mine was, like, a dirty penny, though. It had to have been a dirty penny. Well, I, I, was I have, like, this dirty weird penny. habit of, like, putting quarters in my mouth, and I would, like, spit them out. I don't know why I thought that. But I just, and then one day I just swallowed it. And I was like, oh no, oh no, and yeah, it ended up not being a problem. And I have a lot of uh, stories where I, uh, I poop myself. I don't know if anybody has <laughs> child oh. pooping themselves oh, stories. But I had one last night. I have, I have pooped myself in at least uh, thirteen minutes. Uh, speaking of which, <laughs> uh, but, guys, no, you have a so bathroom. So I can't remember how old I was, but it was at scout camp. Oh, and I wake up one morning in the tent. And it's like pouring rain and. And, like, the smart scout camp it was... Wait, scout there were, camp? You'd have to have been at least, like, 12 by now. Maybe. I, I was probably... Maybe 11, 10. I, I don't know for sure. Probably but 11. I remember... Yeah, probably. This seems and then right. I remember going to the camp, and I woke up, like, the next morning, and I was like, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. And my stomach wasn't feeling good, because my dad got me, like, this sleeping bag that is good for, like, negative 35 degree weather. So it's extremely hot, and I just woke up one morning, and it was so hot that I started to get sick, and my stomach did not agree, and it eventually started going down. I was like, oh, God. Uh, Oh, no, my mind. So I go out and looking for a bathroom, and they did not have, like, an outhouse or anything. I would have gone in an outhouse. Even if it was dirty, I just needed to go, or otherwise it was going to be a bad trip. So I... I'm just like, well, I guess I have to do it just out in the wilderness. So, you know, I go over, do my thing, and I crouch, and then, uh, oh, it landed straight back in the underwear. (laughs) And I was just sitting there, no toilet paper anywhere, and I'm just like, oh, dear Lord, how am I going (laughs) to fix this? So I... Oh, this is the worst. I ended up just pulling my pants and pulling up my pants with it still in the underwear. No. Yeah. You didn't take I, it off? I didn't take them off. I didn't have you didn't, a spare. Did you have to change them or like did you have a just, change? I didn't have away. any. It was just one night. So I was like, oh, oh well. So I ended underwear. up sitting in the back of my Scoutmaster's car, did he sitting know? in my own feces. <laughs> he he no- Dude, it didn't stink. Uh, to me, at least, it was so strange. It Nobody said did. anything. It, it would have had to, but it was the worst experience. And then no I got ho- like, I no got home like, oh, and I oh, had, did you poop your pants? I got home and I was just like, I I was trying to keep it chill. My mom's like, "Are you okay? You're walking." I was like, "Fine, yeah, no, all good." I just go out to the bathroom. I I burnt those things. They they are off the face of this earth. That's I, good. I burnt them just like Jesus would demons. That's uh, that's, that's awesome. Good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. No, those are gone. That's um. Good. I guess there was another... I mean, this one isn't even as long, but it was pretty much just my brother was sitting on the couch as a seven-year-old, tried to fart on him. wasn't a fart. <laughs> it oh. didn't go on him, but it was just, like, I oh. tried to do it, and it just ended up, and I was like... <laughs> and I'm Hard just I'm just sitting there with just a stone-cold face, and my brother's like, what? And I'm like, 
I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, uh, it was... Karma comes after you, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What All a right. story. It was the worst. Do you have one? I have a question. Yes. Have you guys ever pooped the bed? Ever. Well... Yes. When I was sick. Yeah. No, when I was... I mean, you can't... No, I, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, the last time I uh, pooped my pants was two years ago. And it I was... I had, I had I food either. poisoning. I've had a few, like... And, like, I was just laying in bed, yeah. and, like, it's... And it, like, uncontrollably comes out, and you're just sitting there, and I was like, I'm gonna die. And I just... And neither... And let's just sum this up with, um, a pair of pants was uh, ruined. Yeah. And, I don't know if this is, like, an appropriate... Oh, no, I'm not gonna go further into detail, because it it goes much worse. Having food poisoning for a week, like, you're just dehydrated. You're just dead. Yeah, I'm no, pretty sure it was food poisoning. There's been a few times where you like, you think you can like, like fart, like squeeze out a fart, yeah, and then but it's it not. turns into uh, yeah. something different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's been a few of those in the like. I've like, had them, but like I don't let it come out. Like if I'm about to, and away. then it turns out to be something else, I'm like, all right, I'm about to head out, guys. Like you know, you could do sneaky, sneaky little toots, but I, I'll never go for loud. You know what's funny? My family told me the other day they have never heard me fart or s- smelt a fart i don't fart that often when i do i'm alone and that's how that's so. all i am you know i, I don't do it, it around myself. people and my brother's just like <laughs> i'm like what the hell dude stop god jesus get the hell out of some head. people stop. are stop. better out stop. than stop him. god <laughs> you have fart You're... stories <laughs> <laughs> She says, yes! Yeah. Come in. Love it's, you like, in. it's like, okay, bring, bring You me. shall you come in. Oh, speaking of ID, I just, I just have this terrible story. So, today, I was working construction. And uh, <laughs> I'm, I've been working down at the Air Force Base in uh, Ogden. Oh. So, uh, whenever you go in there, you need a pass. But since I was... Pass? No. Sadly not, they wouldn't accept it. Uh, <laughs> but, this you know, work? my my uncle already had a pass, and I work with him, so, like, if you're... Word. Stop! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and so, uh, if you just have somebody who's over the age, and then, like, apparently, if you're under the age of 18, you're, you're fine to go in, you don't need a pass. So, we pull up, coming back from lunch, and the guy's like, hey, how you doing? And it was a cop, so I was like, oh, I'm doing good. And then we give him my pass, and then... Like, we've been getting in there for, like, a month. Like, just with me handing them the thing, I didn't need a pass, so they're like, okay, go through. And then this guy, he just, he thought he caught a couple of terrorists, a couple of white boy terrorists trying to come into the Air Force base and uh, paint their walls. Oh, dear Lord, if we painted their walls, oh, God, what would have happened? And he's Jeez. just like... <laughs> Death to many. He's just like, this kid got an ID? And, he, and uh, I said, I'm underage. He's just like, how old are you? 17 he's like nah nah you can't come in you gotta be 16 or under i was like so okay every age and except we were, 17 can go in like you had to be 17 or no 16 or up to have a pass and if you were 16 or under you didn't have to have a pass oh apparently so like in his world yeah and we were telling him i was like well we've been getting in here for a month with no problems he's like not on my shift this guy's gonna guide you around. You're gonna go to the South Gate. You're gonna get a pass. And we ended up going there, and they're just like, here "Yeah, uh, you don't, you don't need a pass." So we're gonna call that guy and just tell him, "Yeah, you don't need a pass." And we we're just, okay. we ended up getting in without a problem. American but basically, hero. I'm pretty sure he Dude. was just happy that he actually. He's just like, I caught a couple of rats trying to come into the Air Force Base. I walls. got them. They're painting in my base. In my no. base, not on my shift. Nah, nah. Oh, yeah, wow. uh, did you ever have a childhood pooping story? Could you not just think of one? <laughs> yes, um, I've had a few. Did uh, you poop your bed? You poop, 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 poop. You did you poop your bed? Did you poop your bed? Looks like I was pooping his bed. No! I promise! I promise! I can't, I can't believe, can't believe he pooped his bed. All right, uh, you shit yourself. I did not. Oh my god. <laughs> this, this all right. Person, well, person. all right. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I've had a couple times, uh, probably last few years. Not. Can I hit that? Not super recent. <laughs> where? 
Where I, no. I, I mean, I think I'm just gonna fart, but I'm wrong, and it just. That's how most of them go. I know. That's how they. I'm. I mean, I'm not purposely gonna crap my pants unless well, you guys why want not? me to. You guys want me to? Could you do that right now? I'll do it right now. Please. For the podcast. Oh, God, please. Yes. Right. Content. Content. Do it into the mic. Guest, <laughs> guest poops pants <laughs> on live podcast. Please do it on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't clean it. I'm going to put it in a plastic bag and hang it up on my wall. Gavin's poop phone. Yes. On podcast. I will squeeze it every day. I don't know how I feel. I really <laughs> hope this isn't going in. Like, yeah, I hope this, this is part all getting is not cut. Getting no, cut. this one's getting cut out. This is not going in. All right, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, was, yeah. <laughs> Talking from a real voice that, perspective, though. That was that was icky. We're gonna we're gonna cut that out. <laughs> that, that last part was. Big. was all right, now we're gonna bring it back like nothing happened. Nasty. That last part was a bit yucky. You guys will never hear that, but you you uh, you're in for a treat from this. Y'all are nasty. This goes to you, Margaret. Get oh. that, get rid of that mole on your face. But uh, let's see. Well, we're at, we're at, we got like nine minutes left, unless you guys want to go longer. So I think what else hour, we got? I think an hour is good. You yeah, know? so we can go for at least enough. nine more minutes if you want. Or, well, you gotta think about the by honestly. Yeah, it really has. It's been a it, delightful conversation. Oh, yeah. We got. There might be a couple more things I can talk about, or some funny topics. Funny topics. You um, say. what are your favorite childhood memories? I, I talk about childhood a lot on this podcast, but mm. what's just some of your memory. favorite times? Like this is what, favorite childhood memories. It doesn't have to be like incredibly sp- specific, but like something that reminds you, and you just think like, you know, that was a good time. Those were days, dude. I do that with music. I get like nostalgic, like nostalgic thoughts when I like hear certain songs. I do that as well. That that throws for me. me back. It depends. Like uh, my favorite childhood memory was when I played the first video game i ever played and that was call of duty modern warfare that was the first game i ever played at the age of six and somehow i then graduated from that to like a v-tech console with like a spider-man game Mm. that was like the only thing on there that and listening to the curious george album that's a bop honestly curious george has an album yeah i want to hear like 2006 jack johnson he freaking nailed it, dude. Dude, pull it Jack up. Pull Johnson. It up. I have never heard it. Like banana. It's called pancakes. Upside Down. Yeah. Oh, banana pancake. Yeah, yeah. No, I love any that song. Jack Johnson song throws uh, me so hard, dude. He just like I can turn on Jack Johnson and I could just sleep. Jack Johnson's got a beautiful voice, though. Oh my gosh! Shouts out Jack Johnson. If and you're there, watching and there's like the, there's been this meme going around that give me nostalgia, and it's like 2006 Nibbas when this bop came out. That yeah. whole album right there. Yeah, Upside Down. Play that one. How long ah, long pause, long copyright. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the rules. Uh, I don't know how long it is either. My first no. YouTube. Uh, if you haven't heard it and you didn't seconds. hear it in the age of 2006, uh, you did not have a good childhood. You were a depressed child, and your dad beat you. My dad didn't beat me. You don't know that. Well, then you must have listened to the Curious George album. <laughs> I probably did. No, you know? the, I remember the first time I heard it, I went down to my grandma's house in Bountiful, and we were going to the uh, the dinosaur park, and she put in the CD. She's like, do you ever watch Curious George? I was like, I love Curious George. And then she turned it on, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, this is my game. Uh, yeah, that song is good. Any song from Jack Johnson now. But, yeah. Do you have any good childhood memories, Gavin? You've been um, quiet. I have been kind of quiet, you know. You need to speak up. You need to talk a bit louder. I'll talk, all right? I'll talk. Chocolate. Talk. Chocolate. Chocolate. Are they selling chocolate? Yeah, cho- they're selling chocolate. Well, I'd say some of my favorite childhood memories were where me and my friends would go down to the beach and we just hang out and uh, oh, skip yeah. rocks. I forgot and... you didn't spend your entire life in small... Neither no. of you did. No, we didn't no, spend didn't. our life yeah. in Preston. Nah. So... No, I spent my life everywhere, man. Yeah, you're lucky. I lived everywhere. I, I am restricted to you potato be... land. You won't be for long, dude. Uh, yeah. You can leave All right, here's, here's a question. Like, oh, yeah. Plants for... Where are you... Yeah. Plants, plants for, for the, the future, future man. Yes, yes. That's a good Ooh, topic. That is... Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, for jobs? I don't know. I want to go into the entertainment... And if YouTube works out, then hey, YouTube works out. 
See if I can That's get true. that up. But, but with the algorithm just uh, screwing people over, uh, who the hell knows? It may not go anywhere, but if know. it does, then uh, hell yeah. If this video goes viral, this could be this could be a big break. This could be this my could big be, break. This could be the big break. Everyone make it happen. Subscribe. Share, subscribe, the share video. with your share, Grammy. Ring the but bell. But this isn't about me, all right? But basically, uh, yeah. I think I'll stay in this area, maybe. I don't want to live in California, because the last time I went to California, I just saw a bunch of crackheads. No, I'm just kidding. This is full of them. I, I didn't mind San Diego. I, I've been San to San Diego, cool Anaheim, and uh, that that's your hometown? Yeah. That's well, my favorite I used to live around California. San Diego. No, I like uh, San Diego. Um, I hate... I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't like LA. I hate LA too. When you go I there, I love LA. When you go there and you just look over and somebody's like, "Oh my God, is that smoke?" No, that's just the smug. And then, terrible. and then you see on the news, that's... forest fire hits LA, and it's just the one palm tree outside of In and Out. It's just, I don't. <laughs> LA is just so depressing to me. Except, you know what? Las Vegas is the most depressing to me, though. Yeah, God, I've been Las Las, I've is... been to Las Vegas once, and like. You see pictures like, wow, pretty light, it's so pretty. Then you go there and you just see a bunch of middle-aged dudes try to get out more money. And then all of a sudden they're broke. Yeah, you got people And then you just see money. all the freaking retirement dudes just going in there and bopping all their money. It's oh, yeah. It's sad. Yeah. It is. It is a sad place. Or Nevada in general is just sad. Yeah. Yeah, like south southwestern states are pretty... I don't know. Not mm. California. California's beautiful. California is pretty. There are like, some, some parts some of sketchy... California I don't mind. There are some sketchy parts. Of like California, I yeah. went to, like when I went to Disneyland, uh, Anaheim. That wasn't the worst, I guess, but most of the time was in Disneyland. But it's pretty much just smog land and traffic mm -hmm. and everything. But oh, then yeah. again, I did go when I was twelve, so I might have different opinions. And I went to San Diego just last year, and it was a good time. I didn't mind it. Yeah, it was a good time. Went to the San Diego Zoo. I oh, that's a cool place. Yeah, Madagascar. It's, a, it's very nice. It's very yeah, nice zoo. San Diego Zoo. San Diego. San Diego. Such a classic. What are your plans, Gavin? My I plans. Know, but like, tell the podcast. Yeah, I have no me. idea. Tell All right, <clears throat> my plans include me going to school and then getting into anesthesia because why not? And you get, I'd get money, you know. Money is good. Nice. <laughs> And it help people, so you know it's not not a bad not a bad way to go. Make bank. Would make bank if I could do it. The money. Yeah. yeah you have to be smart. You never know, though, dude. You never like, know. Life could change, man. That's you never know. true. Because that's why I don't like making my plans like now. Because I've gone through so much. Like I'll just be like, oh, I'll be an underwater welder. I drop that. I want to go to coding i want to go to utah state i want to go to utah university i want to go to ucla and it just goes through this whole thing and i'm just like i'll just be real i have no idea what i'm going to do you'll figure it out when the time no comes yeah out. yeah like when i but like the day of my last senior day and then i wake up the next morning i'm like what now and then, yeah exactly i think uh, everyone feels that way though yeah but there, like, I like what now? i had the most senior friends uh last year junior year yeah. And like I was just thinking like god they're going to wake up the next day and just be like oh oh um and we're just I at guess school. I have to be an adult now. I have yeah. to pay my taxes. <sighs> so, it is it's a strange life, but it is. Yeah. yeah. At least you got plans. I'm still working them out. I think I'll live in this area maybe. I don't know. I might move out to it's good to get out. Oh, cool. No, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Cuz I definitely don't want to be I want to travel. I one place I want to go is Japan. Like, that is on the top of my list. Japan I will go sick. to Japan no matter what. Yeah. At some point in my life, I will go to Japan. That was that was what I was going to do for my senior trip. My mother's like, you can't go to Japan. And I was like, why can't I go to Japan? I don't want you to leave. I was like, I'm going to Japan. Once you turn 18, just buy the tickets and leave. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm buying the tickets. I'm, Japan I'm, would be cool, though. Oh, yeah. No. I just I just love everything there. I, besides the being a weeb, I just I just think Japan looks cool. Yeah. It is. I, but, like, I wouldn't want to stay there for, like, a week. But, you know, just like a like a month, maybe. Just a couple months trip. Because I want to be able to see everything. Do an exchange there. Oh. That would be it's awesome. Like a, a, like a semester exchange. That'd be really weird. Yeah, but that also would be cool. It'd be weird, but it'd be an experience, man. And uh, before we end, uh, 
What was? What are your future plans? I don't think you said much. Um. Well, I'm trying to stay in music. I want to study sound engineering and music production. And uh, there's a few schools. I definitely want to get out of this area. And I'm trying to hit anything West Coast, like Washington, Oregon, California. I was looking at a school in Boston, looking at one in Texas. I don't know, man. Uh, there's a few that we're going to go tour this winter, but whatever happens, happens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. yeah, that's my life. Well, thank you for actually giving me content because it has been a long while. I uploaded two videos yesterday just because I, yeah. I was in the mood and uh, I had nothing better to do with my life. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for You're giving welcome. me content. Thank you thank for coming you. on. You guys thank talked. You. It's been a pleasure. Hopefully people actually listen to this because I, as I said before, I check the analytics. You listen to the first three minutes and you click off. You better listen to the whole thing because it's actually interesting. I think we should put that in the beginning. I'm going to put so that they actually Yeah, I'm going to edit in the beginning. Hey, guys, yeah. there's more than one person. Don't click off, please. There's four people here. There's three. We're all into well, it. Well, my, at the beginning. The little and the kid, Holy Ghost. The little kid. The little kid, Adam. The, the baby. And the Holy Ghost. The, the child. And the Holy Ghost. He's the right Holy outside Spirit. the door. He's the Holy Ghost is always here. He can't. He's always with us. Always. He's with us. Always. But, yeah. All Thank right. you all for listening. Uh, hit the subscribe. Uh, you guys want to plug anything? Um, um, follow the Instagram, Liam Ratchford. Uh, follow mine, Gavin underscore Roby. Buy his merch. I don't have merch. We're gonna yes. make merch. Buy merch. Yeah, I will copy your. It merch. is in the. It is in the works. I would buy your. Merch. I, I think I'm gonna make like five T-shirts and I'm gonna Can put them on Gavin Instagram get... and I'm gonna do like a giveaway. I have 79 subscribers. Not everybody's gonna be out for my merch, but I'm gonna make like five shirts and I'm yeah. just gonna be like. Uh, uh, I'll do a giveaway like the post tag your favorite um, Minecraft parody account and uh, <laughs> uh, I'll select from there and don't forget to retweet this is Instagram don't forget to retweet <laughs> but yeah I, I might do a little bit of a test to see if people care so yeah well, we'll I would, I would I, you do a poll on Instagram ask people if they would buy your because I have I've had like little uh, concepts and I'm just like I have 78 subscribers. I shouldn't be designing merch. Dude, Gavin could design a logo for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have one that I did. Oh? Like the one that's on my YouTube right now. Like the Calmo Ho profile pic. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I was thinking, like, I was going to get a little logo that just says Ho with the exclamation mark and, like, either put it, like, center on the shirt or, like, a little corner. That I would buy it so Because, like, so kind of like that. Cody Co merch. Like, I like what he did with his one where it's just a square the and it KO. says Co. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I want to either do that. Ho? I want to either put Ho on the front and on the back. It's just, like, the exclamation point. And that would be And it would so just cool. be red. Or I'm trying to think of something better. I don't know. I was thinking of putting a Cal Moho in Japanese on the shirt or something. That would look good. Because I freaking, I like Japanese. It's just cool stuff. I like, I like both. I think you should do both of those designs. Yeah, no. I'm definitely do doing the Ho concepts. one for sure. And I'm going to make like five of them and I'm just going to be like, hey, anybody who wants them, do this and I'll give them to you. Yeah. And if they do well, I might actually make more than one and just go around the school on the first day and just throw shirts at everybody. Dude, I would subscribe. buy just Cal Moho like merch. Subscribe to Ho. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it, we were going a little bit longer, but I don't think I've told a lot of people this, but uh, I used to be in yearbook, as many of you know. I dipped yeah. because uh, reasons, but uh, <clears> I was basically... Yes. <laughs> but basically, uh, we got to get these hoodies with uh, something on the back. And I was like, okay, uh, I'm just going to put Cal Moho. So I wrote on the paper Cal Moho to put on the back. And he calls me up the next day. He's like, so we have a, a problem with your with your uh, sweater. And I'm just like, uh, okay, um, what is it? And he's just like, I can't have you walking around with uh, the word ho on your back. And I was like. You know, uh, I'm just going to be honest with you. It's not what you mean at all. It's just kind of like, ho, like a call out, you know? And he's just like, I know, but somebody's going to get offended. So we're going to have to just all the hoes shorten it. I was like, fine, I'll yeah. change hoes it to Camo or something. mad. Ho's mad, especially him. He was indeed yeah, mad. I just realized I just peeled it. I hope he sees this. <laughs> You're watching. You're a mad ho. Mad ho. I mean, he gets nervous about even putting a nike logo in the yearbook so maybe i should center his name out mr kirk i saw you at walmart the other day 
I saw him at Twizzleberry. I freaking saw him at Walmart. I went, hey, Kirk, and he ignored me. I was freaking shopping, and he just, dude, he just beamed me out. I have a video on my phone of Kirk buying about, so, like, there's, like, trays of hot dogs at Twizzleberry. You can buy, like, corn dogs. Yeah. He buy like, they come, like, four. He had about five boxes of four corn dogs. Really? What? I have a video of him buying them. No. Really? At Twizzleberry. What Twizzleberry? Twizzleberry. <laughs> Wait, what were you doing at Twizzleberry? I was getting ice cream, Calmo. Oh, okay, cool. Why do they have corn dogs? I, I have no idea. Yeah. I don't ice cream know. Place. Wait, that's legit. You have a video of this. Do you have it saved? Yeah, I don't. I, I it'll would take lo- me a second to find it. Oh, okay. But man, because we could put funny. it in the podcast, dude. I I don't know if I should put it in because I I, I mean, as much as I hate the man, I don't want to disrespect people's privacy. That's true. That's just how it be. He's already had too many memes made about him. Oh Feel my bad. gosh. There were so many things. And then I got into the little scuffle with good old Preston High Hoes thinking. I know, saw you oh, defending that, dude. Oh, my gosh. Because, like, <laughs> this is going to sound really stupid to other people, but I was kind of egging him on. Because <laughs> uh, I talked to him, and he was making, like, subtle memes, like uh, Preston High School Hoes. And I was like, he's being a coward. I'm going to tell him to call out people, except... Not actual names, because that's what he did. I was like, make it subtle, like little hints about their personality. Did you but like make DM it him? funny. I did. I, I was like, hey, man, uh, I like what you're doing, but make it funny. <laughs> and I was like, hint at like little personalities of people. And I was like, you know, make it funny and not like seem like you're just being a dick. And I was like, yeah. Was that, the, was that on Twitter? No. Who was it? I tweeted out, out, I tweeted out one day, Preston High Hose is a disgrace to the Instagram community. and ended up getting like 20 likes in the end. I was like, Jesus, this shouldn't have gotten that much attention. But it's Hose I just man. DM'd him that, and I was like, but remember, make it subtle. Don't like call out their names, and make it so it's funny, and not act like you're openly calling them out. And he's like, okay, we will do. And then I see the next meme he posts, and he just openly says... Uh, Didn't we find out who it was, though? It was Luke Smaley's younger sister. Yeah, Lauren. Yeah, oh. and, he, and he just openly said that, and I saw Luke's coming, and he just went, come on, man. And, and I messaged him. And then he yeah, called I out... remember that. And then he called out one of my friends that was just like, why are you doing this account? And then he just like called him like, oh, look at this kid just defending you. And I, and I messaged him. I was like, okay, what the hell? First, you're going to roast my friends, and then you did the exact opposite of what I said. And I just told everybody to spam report him. And then like he put up an, uh, a post that said, uh, I'm not going to get deleted, but, you know... Um, it was all a joke, and then he ended up getting deleted. <laughs> hmm. Wasn't it like... Uh, I didn't know who um, it was. Somebody messaged me, and he was I, like, yeah, he went too far. Was. And uh, he knew who it was, and I was like, really? Can you tell me? He's like, nah, I, I made a promise. I was like, okay, I guess it's fine. I, no, I, I openly already said, I was like, okay, it's a sophomore. It's somebody that obviously has been rejected many times and somebody and is just like every it. girl yeah. is a hoe all of them are unloyal like <laughs> i've been on like two dates and they don't text me back <laughs> and i'm just like heard about it <laughs> <laughs> all right well no nah, it was just funny it's hilarious oh. but if we're out of topics and we are at an like hour. we just said yeah, like eight minutes it. like yeah um Oh, uh, we're done, and then we're like, oh, yeah, let's talk more. Oh, yeah, that so, was the merch that brought it up. It was the merch, yeah. Because I said, so, buy his merch. Okay. <laughs> it's all my yeah, fault. Yeah, now we can be done, if you yeah. guys would like. So, anyways, again, thanks for watching. Uh, follow these two, Liam Ratford on Instagram, uh, Gavin Robert. Uh, wait, sorry, I can't, I don't want to bother remembering your name, because I dislike you as a person. But anyway, Oh, it's me now, yeah. huh? Oh, it's <laughs> it's me now. both of you. I hate Oh, <laughs> Get out of my house, Calmo. I'm just messing. I appreciate you both for Our you know, messaging me, getting me out of the house. I'll put their uh, stuff in the description. Links in the description. And uh, if you guys ever end up getting that YouTube channel you've been started talking yes. about, I'll put oh, that yeah. down there. Yes, shout it out. So, yeah. yeah. Thank happens. you all for watching or listening. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, love.